All right, well, hello. We're gonna be making um, a video series <laughs> showing um, our yard, backyard, front yard, and some of the projects that we're going to be doing, primarily with the objective of attracting native species into the yard. <clears throat> especially birds, which we're particularly fond of. So I'm gonna do a bit of a walkthrough, show you through um, some of the yard and what we have set up now. And yeah, we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So as we come into the yard, we have some bare patches of dirt. We don't have much going on. You can see there's a lot of some blue jays flying overhead. Two blue jays there. Nice little flyover. We've had a couple blue jays in the yard um, this week, but none during the last two days, which is our feeder watch days. But anyways, you can see the yard is kind of a mess at this point. We got a lot of stuff ready to go, but... Um, still kind of all over the place. So anyways, over here we got some bare dirt. This was all rocks and mulch, which I have raked up into a pile, going to get rid of. I planted two raspberry plants at the end of last season, two different varieties. We'll talk about those in a future video. Got our first bird prop here, a suet feeder and a peanut feeder. Um, we've got these cedars, which are here when we moved in. Another big bearish patch. Um, this was also rocks. I dug all of this out last summer. <clears throat> we got a bird feeder set up in the middle of the lawn here. Bit of a bush. I'm sure all the house sparrows hang out. And you can see they take all the seeds and then they sit in the bush and drop the bush and their dro uh, seeds and their droppings. So that's all there. Um, coming back this way, this is some of the rocks from the back and the side. We're going to get rid of all of this next summer. Sh kind of shove it all out into the back alley there. <clears throat> um, this is our garden patch. You can see it's <laughs> Doesn't look much like a garden. Um, this was full of clay. Um, and you can see that, you know, at one point, this was a pool, um, which caved in under the watch of the previous owners. They backfilled this with clay and it was actually overfilled with clay. And we got a bobcat in here, dug it out. And now I'm sort of filling it with organics. So you can see leaves, compost, um, kind of tree matter. And then next spring, I'm gonna put a layer of topsoil and turn this into a garden. Um, you can see we got a second bird feeder there in the middle, hopper feeder, got some flower seeds in there. We have our bird bath here, got our brush pile. And, okay, so got some cat tracks, bird tracks, probably from the magpies. Let me show you that. It's probably a magpie track right there, cat track. <clears throat> um, got a Niger feeder in the neighbor's tree here. Got this hanging feeder, fill with sunflower seed. Oh, oh chickadee. I haven't had one in the yard for the last two days. He's doing an alarm call. The D D D D means he sees danger on the ground. That's me. I'm gonna move and see if he grabs some seed from the feeder. Come on, little buddy. There is some sunflower in there, or there was. It might be empty. Let's see. Yeah, 
think it was empty. It's too bad. We can, we can go fill that right away. <clears throat> Anyways, this is the yard. Pretty bare, not much around. Um, and yeah, it's kind of the starting point. Most days we have magpies. Again, you can see their tracks everywhere. We got some blue jays coming in. House sparrows counted 50 or so today in at one time. And very few other birds. Uh, we had a raven digging in the compost. Um, and on occasion, I've seen singles of chickadees, red breasted nuthatch. We had a downy woodpecker that was probably the <clears throat> one of the cooler birds. Um, but yeah, very few because we have very little cover for them and food. Along the side of the house, got a whole lot of nothing. Again, this was rock, dug it all out. Put some grass here, plant something in the future. We've got a little bush here from the neighbors, or sorry, from the old people. This is actually our strip of grass that right there, and this bush is ours. In the front lawn, we got this bush. This summer it was actually so overgrown that you couldn't even see this lamppost. <laughs> So I cut it right down to nothing and it's grown back quite nice. But you can see it's mostly bare grass. Um, we got some scrub in the corner there. That's actually all in the neighbor's property. Um, not much to the house. This was all mulch as well. Dug it all out last spring. Put a little bit of soil, but mostly grass clippings and we'll deal with that next year. We got a nice little birdhouse there with a Santa toque on it. And then along the side of the house, again, kind of whole lot of nothing. <clears throat> That's about it. Um, I will show you one more thing. I forgot to mention when we were back here, but we do have some bird houses that I put out late in the fall. Zero chance they are getting used as birdhouses, but I will put them up next year. Um, you can see I just have them on the perimeter of the pool. One there, my dad made that one. One there, general store, cute little gift. And another one uh, made by my dad. So anyway, that's it. Not much to see. Um, we got some larger trees in the neighborhood, mostly in the neighbor's yards. So that's something what we got to get into our yard. Just get some tree cover, <clears throat> just get some, you know, make it more attractive for the birds. And across the street, there's really nice spruce trees, which I'll show you. You can see as I'm walking here, there's a couple spruce trees there. And those quite often get very interesting birds. Um, and the reason I know that is because I work from that window right there. Yep, now that's my office. And I look out the window all day when I can. And I've seen red crossbills in this tree. I saw a shrike at the top of that tree. That was kind of cool. Northern shrike. Um, I've seen a Townsend solitaire at the top of that tree. That's about the most unique things I've seen. But again, nothing's coming into our yard because we just don't have the tree cover. So there's lots of potential. Great neighborhood. There's a lot of birds down that back alley. And in the kind of houses across the, the way there. But yeah, that's something that we're gonna work on. Um, this is it. This is it for the first tour. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, go from here. <laughs>